Uh, pool two had a lot of DQs. Uh, we got one from uh, Big Sham and W eight up. Wait, oh, wait up. Oh, no. Oh, just wait okay. up. I play actually mail. He comes in that MB server. I play mail. Yeah, he uh, got a DQ. So, so. wow, Felix. 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 After upsetting Laboon in winners round one, has now upset Krill. 2-0 in winners Ooh. quarters. 2-0 villager over Joker. And here we go, we're getting right into it. We have Maddie on Pokemon Trainer. We have Big KO on Snake, as we expected. One of the things I'd like to watch out for with uh, Wake's Squirtle is the use of that side beat. He's really good at calling out uh, poor approaches and and uh, flow charty projectile spam with uh, with that side beat. It's an incredible approach tool for Squirtle. It's a get off me option. It just commands so much space because of the super armor. And we're also on Battlefield, which is quite interesting, because Snake has really platform camp, but of course with Ivysaur just having that huge up air hitbox. Also, the stream has been delayed. Oh, there we go. Um, Ivysaur can sort of deal with that. Good back throw. I'd like to see him go try to chase with an up B. That's another thing. Uh, he put him, Wake put himself in a disadvantageous position by going for that up air. I'd like to see him go for an up B there, which is way less committal. He probably wouldn't have gotten hit by an up tilt. Uh, fire, uh, Twitch, the video is buffering. And now it's going into pixels. Oh, yes, it is. I see. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, at least I can see the player still moving. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the stream for a second and then try to okay. get through here. All good. The good news is we still have a local recording. Oh, so. oh sweet. Okay, well, there we go. Now it's back to normal. No, it shouldn't be. Oh, I just. No, no. Now it's still buffering. I, it's, I uh, had it's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not live. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We have to go stream. That was that was a trip. <laughs> oh my. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're back. Hey. And now it stopped. Okay. Oh, did it? Stopped for me at least. Okay, it should now we're back. be it should be back. It should be back. Okay, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm back. So those withdraws coming in clutch. I think he's, he looks like he's using it to try to close the gap between uh, Snake trying to get away from him. So, yeah, those yeah. lift draws are kind of like mini little Wonder Wings. Ben, uh, Squirtle does have that armor, just able to go through projectiles. I don't know if he takes any damage, but it's definitely not as strong as Banjo's. It looks like Snake is adapting already by trying to lay grenades on the ground, which I think is a pretty good strategy if he keeps using <clears> the draw unwisely. It, it certainly does prevent uh, Wake from being... Uh, <laughs> It, it certainly does prevent Wake from being a bit too liberal with those side bases of Squirtle, but now he's on the character that I want to see and use more because I was just so good at counteracting the grenades, like I said. Yeah, with all those dish, with that disjointed up air and downer, absolutely, he can get around some. Oh, an SD, unfortunate SD coming in from Big KO, but. Uh, uh oh. But, uh. Go forward air to back throw. Ivy's still in up to range, so he's got to be careful. Nikita, he manages. He managed to weaken the Nikita by hitting it with the Vine Whip, which was clutch. He would have certainly died to it had he not been able to do that. Can he chase with an up B here? Oh, this is bad. Oh, wow. What a mix up. Big KO does not B reverse or air dodge to the ground. I'm sure Maddie was expecting uh, something there. And then the C4 is going to take the stock. Oh, that was incredible. He's, he got punished for being too greedy with that, uh, trying to catch him with the Oh, yeah. 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 That was excellent. That was excellent. Mm -hmm. so Solid first game from Big KO. He weathered the storm. Uh, Wake was able to adapt to Big KO's initial game plan, but Big KO survived, and he's going to yeah. take a crucial 1-0 lead in this best of three set. And probably a big counting. My hope is that if Kalos is not banned, I would go there, just because Stinkno has, has to commit to the other platforms. Otherwise, maybe Smashville, just for the smaller blast zones, but... Uh, I, I'm okay. I like PS2 here, honestly, as a counter pick. I think Kalos and FD would have been banned by Big KO because those yeah, were the most sure. advantageous for Ivy. That would have been my guess if those were Wow, he was, that was bold with that F smash on shield. Okay. Gotta say, I really, I really think that Wake would be uh, finding more success in neutral if he was playing more Ivysaur. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm, for sure. Squirtle does have to get in, and with those short limbs, uh, it's definitely going to get outranged by Snake, even though they are quick. Well, the main, like, the frame data isn't really a problem because Squirtle's mobility is better than, than Snake's. But the main issue is just that any sort of grenade trade is disadvantageous to Squirtle because he's so much lighter than Snake. Mm -hmm. So if he lands with an air or an up air and trades with the grenade. Ivy Shore also has the range, so when you're like hitting the grenade with a move that's say fair, like on Snake Shield, you're not really going to get punished. But when Squirtle does the trade, like you said exactly, Squirtle can't really get in to get the punishing needs, right? So I actually think right, Ivy Shore might be the play at lower percents. Maybe even just get him to mid, because once you hit like an up air and Ivy Shore at like 50, you get like a meaty combo off. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the nice, the nice thing about this stage too is if he gets, is if uh, Wake gets a grab at low percent below that platform, he can actually do an up throw into two or three up airs for fifty-five percent. Oh, that was a conversion. He just waited too long. Yes. Ivy has incredible low percent combos as well. Yeah, for sure. They're just a bit more situational than Squirtles. But yeah. Ivy stock kind of went down. I feel like oh, trying to get that. Oh, that could have been a C four there, but uh, KO press shield. KO good. So we see Wake getting up there. Using that up tilt in the oh. corner was actually a great option. <laughs> he tried to get the read on the down throw, went for a roll away, but Wake wisely rolled in instead. Oh, he would. Yeah, I don't think Charizard would be the play here. But we'll see how it goes. Okay. He goes for the F smash read. He actually read the get up attack, but misspaced the F smash. I feel like Charizard, I think it gets heavy, is not a good idea for him. Oh, yeah, nice armor really through the back air. He gets the up B. And once again puts KO off stage. Now this is a situation where going Squirtle wouldn't be a bad idea. Because Snake has to be the one to approach here. But he switches to Ivy and gets the edge guard with the down air. It's pretty easy once uh it's pretty easy to edge guard Snake with Ivy once uh Snake has has burned his options that allow him to recover high. That reached through the stage. Ivy Source confirmed a part of the stage. That was uh, nutty, buddy. Uh, Yugi Joe, how? What's your timer on? I'm at 4:28. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys are about 20 seconds behind now. Uh, okay then. Oh yikes. Too bad. I was realizing I was talking about the down air, and then you guys weren't saying anything, so like, it yeah. made me think either I just connected from the voice chat, or you guys weren't seeing it. Oh wow, he goes for the down air to catch the normal getup, but big KO shields it and then up tilts, and we're at a last stock situation. This time it's the opposite, with big KO needing to make a comeback in order sure. to take the set 2-0. Sure, and Snake does have a lot of kill options. I think just the question comes down to, especially now against Charizard, is like, can he, uh... Break up the damage fast enough. Because he's already at kill Oh, he goes for the flare blitz and he gets punished only with a grenade for it. Down tilt from big KO. Little dash attack and then Wake lands with the forward air to punish the weak dash attack. And it's a 1 1 set. So what? Oh. Yikes, having technical difficulties here. <laughs> What's going on? Please. Um, hmm. Yeah, please. Um, hmm. Well, now we have a Big KO's counter pick, so I'm curious of where Big KO's going to go. And what, I'm going to uh, cheat. I'm going to cheat here and take a look at what the bands are in the Smash GG chat. Okay. Oh, and Yugi Joe just left. Ready to go. See you. Nope. Yep. Yugi Joe, Yugi Joe is having technical difficulties. Okay. Another upset, we have Youngster Joey with Lucina and Mario taking the set 2-1 over Cross. Cross was seated 11 in this tournament. Okay. And uh, I'm going to switch this pool so I can get a view of all the pools. Who's going to have? Here we go. Here we go. 
game three between two members of the Saskatchewan Smash 4 Old Guard trying to make a name for themselves in Ultimate. It doesn't get any more exciting than this. FD is the, is the pick from Big KO for Game 3, and this is really interesting to me. Because I feel yeah, like a stage like this would benefit, it would benefit Ivy in terms of zoning, but not in terms of combos. Ivy needs platforms to be able to extend uh, the up-air combos. For sure. So this might not be a bad stage for Big yeah. KO. And one of the things that actually I kind of have a concern is that Snake no longer has platforms to uh, land on. So I'm curious of how he's going to remedy that. It's true. The, the thing is, though, is that uh, towards the end of game two, oh, nice down air coming in from Maddie. He takes his he takes the first stock of Big KO at only 44.2%. And now we'll see how he decides to extend his lead, which Pokemon he chooses. He's trying Charizard so far. Okay. Probably, probably pretty good uh, if he's at the ledge here because Charizard obviously has that armor on the up B to be able to get past Nikita relatively painlessly. For sure. But I was going to say, what we were noticing uh, towards the end of game two is that Wake was starting to call out some of Big KO's landing habits. He got a couple of up airs during juggle situations. And so maybe Big KO just wanted to eliminate the platforms altogether to remove options for more devastating punishes. But now we see it looks like Wake has gotten... Uh, he has quite a solid read on Big KO's disadvantage habits nonetheless. He was able to get a couple of up airs and extend his lead. Oh wow, he goes for the dash attack to cover the landing, but Big KO gets the back air. So he takes uh, Wake's first stock with 85% on his second stock. That's kind of like the problem that uh, Snake has. bit too early in order to catch the, the neutral Ganna. But he's got big KO on the ledge, gets tagged by that uh, Cypher for a couple of, for some tick damage. He gets the up smash, and then he switches to Squirtle and does a little, uh, little taunt there. He's definitely feeling himself. He's comfortable. That's good to see. You know, I'm glad that, uh, da, 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 da. The big KO uh, snuffs it out with a get up attack. Um, my stream is lagging. Your stream is lagging? Okay. Yeah, it's like loading. Okay. So, looks like Sanjoku is not going to be able to make it back. He's having some technical difficulties. So, we'll try to get him on commentary later if his internet issues are resolved, but. For now, it'll just be the two of us. And as I say that, Wake gets a, an F smash to cover Big KO's landing, and he takes the set with a JV2 stock in Game 3. Wake takes a 2-1 over Big KO, and he will play Youngster Joey in winner's semis to make it out of pools.